Hey everyone, um, I uh, hope you're all having a good night, um, I sure am I guess. <laughs> um, so uh, for tonight as promised, as I promised a long time ago, I'm going to um, do a live Q&A with Azazel and um, yeah, this is something that I just I, I set up like a few months ago. I posted that and um, just kind of for, almost forgot about it, I'd say. And um, well, uh, I vo I posted that on f in a few groups and on YouTube. So the questions uh, just sort of came in from everywhere, and I got a lot of questions for many people and um, so I decided to just um, instead of answering them all like some people post asked like a lot of questions also so I just kind of giving everyone an equal chance because and if I'm gonna do like all of them that's gonna take a very uh, that's gonna ver take a very long time so uh, yeah I'm just going to be drawing them from this bowl and I'm just going to see because I think I'm missing a few things using my mobile phone again. Let's see if this is actually working. <laughs> it's always something with me. I think um, I'm not really getting any notifications or whatsoever. Just sort of stuck on tagging friends. I don't want to tag friends. No, no, it's gone. Oh, that's bad. No, 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 no. I have to start over, I guess. This is stupid. I'm sorry for you guys who are watching my hand right now. Um, it's messed up. I'm trying to get the chat section showing. Hey Roy. <laughs> ah, so you're the first one in. <laughs> Might as well start over a little bit. Yeah, my, my the tripod for my camera is uh, broken. So I have to fix that sometimes. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just going to get started, um, in the meantime, feel free to ask questions in the comment section. Uh, I might like, so I, I'm going to be drawing, uh, 10, 10 questions, uh, because that, that like, unless there's like a lot of, um, a lot more time left. I'll be drawing in more. Um, I didn't really prepare any of this. This, this, that's the whole idea. Like, um, initially, my idea was to um, seek the answers myself, sort of like with Azazel's help, and just take time doing that. You know, offline. Um, you know, do some research and stuff. But for for tonight, the challenge is gonna be, uh, you know, getting getting it raw as it is right here. Uh, so, um, as you can see, you know, these are all I, I did pre-fold like the, the some of the questions. I didn't choose all of them, by the way, because it was just so much. I'd be writing for hours, I guess, but. Um, I chose uh, I chose one or two questions per person, and that's ended up in here. Um, so I'm just gonna blindly draw them, um, sort of giving a chance for Azazel to also uh, choose the questions as well. Kind of see what he wants to answer or not, and. Um, 
to see what comes up and what he's gonna tell me and I will try to translate that onto you. It's gonna be literally translating because uh, I usually receive these things in English for uh, I mean in Dutch so I need to translate translate that to English too. So uh, hey Dominic thank you for watching. Um, yeah, you've been eagerly waiting, Roy. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's, uh, I kept kind of putting it off, like postponing it. Uh, also because it's, it, yeah, you know, it's a bit of a challenge. And some of these questions, like, I, I'm and quite new with some of these things, like some of the words, the names, the things that were like, I don't know what that is myself, so well, it's it's part of like could be part of the challenge to uh, get a sort of even if if if, if it's relatively accurate answer to a question if I don't re even if if I don't know what it's about, but Azazel will know probably. So, yeah, it's a kind of like a training for me. <laughs> so, yeah, of course, this uh, doesn't have like I, I can be entirely wrong with this. Uh, I can fail, but I'm not afraid to fail. Like I can fall flat on flat on my face right here with everyone watching. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, we all uh, I, I don't want to fall flat on my face for real, of course, but, uh, you know, I got no uh, problem with failing in public. So if I fail, I fail. If it works, it works. Um, it's all in good fun. We're all learning. I'm learning here. So uh, if you got any feedback, positive, negative, hate mail, it's all fine. Just let me know. <laughs> um, and if there's any time left uh, and you've got like I, I might go through some questions in the chat as well i will see if that's uh, possible don't feel bad if if your question didn't end up in there it, it's it's like totally random i did not really specifically choose so um yeah i'm gonna be drawing them now First, I'm going to. Well, this is. I got. I got some honey for Azazel. Nice Greek honey. And I will mix that up with some of my blood to thank him for doing this, for his efforts. He felt excited, like that I was going to do this live instead of preparing, because it is so much what he's about like this sort of raw untamed what you see is what you get I also have a bit of a problem with drawing enough blood because I have got some low blood pressure Uh, thank you, Roy. Um, as I'm going like, to be an like, I'm gonna be talking to Azazel soon, so that means I will have to get back to the chat section later on. There you go. That's. A more decent amount of blood. He deserves it.
candle. I'll take that as my cue that I've given enough blood. And some of the sigils as well. We're done. I hear my dog is having some dreams in the background. <laughs> hey, Sip. You got up early, huh? It's nice to see you here. I'm just, there's a little bit of blood on the incense now, that's fun. Adds a little extra. First question. <laughs> oh, I believe this is Roy's question <laughs> from a while back. So what does Azazel want um, in working with us? Like what, what is his goal, his um, mission? And it's something about control. I doubt he want he, he wants to control us. Mm. Uh, just something I need to add, like something sometimes Azazel, like he's very quick. Like he's one of those these quicker spirits. Um, sometimes he will. He will already answer the question before I re even read it out loud. So, um, ask him to specify a bit. Control of what? Something about the roads, routes, roads. So basically, this is what what does Azazo want to gain? from contact with humanity. Yeah, I guess roads, like a track, a railroad track 
For him, it's a way to keep the roads clean, he says. That's what I'm getting. a bit hard to concentrate right now because there's so much outside noise like summer holidays and people outside and stuff <laughs> maybe I'll have to get back to it later if to see if this is really what he wants to say but for now I'm getting he's controlling he, he wants to he, his, his goal would be f for that like what's in it for him would be to gain more control over the roads and keep them clean and I think you can take that in a very uh, in a symbolic way you know roads the tracks infrastructure so yeah who knows? So I might have to get back to it later, or sometimes, uh, you know, this is a very quick. Um, there is no time for the in this setting. There is no time for really in-depth answers. It's gonna be quick, and uh, perhaps the person who asks them or myself will receive um, like deeper answers later on. Like sometimes it just takes time for the spirit to get you that answer. So, yeah, I'm going to be drawing the next question now. Okay, what are the different the incarnations of Azazel over the different timelines? Now, I can answer that partially. Um, I'm not sure what this person means with uh, incarnations yeah, because it, that could be there's so many types of and layers of incarnations, it could mean incarnations in the flesh like human forms or does do they mean um do they mean like uh aspects i can try asking asking him if he's had a human life once As for um, if it's about different aspects or different names of him, I personally know of know a few. Some of them are uncertain. Um, I know for sure that one of his names is uh, Ares or Ares. I call him Ares. In um, the Greek god of war. I think he's also connected to, I don't know how to pronounce that name, I think Tyr, Tyr the uh, Norse god of war as well. Uh, other than that, I got some uh, references to Sobek, which is an Egyptian crocodile god, but other than, uh, it's, it's a bit... Um, it's one of these things that takes time, like sometimes a spirit will uh, slowly give you these names or, yeah. I don't expect him to reveal all his names, like 
in this video right now or I'm not even sure how much I'm supposed to be saying of that so yeah I'll ask him if he's had any human incarnations He's feeding me something. And I can see myself growing into a giant. Sometimes when you work with spirits, the sense of I and you, or you like the sense of I gets lost. So I'm thinking maybe he was incarnated as a giant not a human yeah that's what I'm getting for now maybe like pre-human times or something like that Yeah, I'm just, uh, I am giving him space like to elaborate later on, you know, after the video sometimes. Uh, and if he does, I will, uh, I will post those, uh, the, like the additions. So, okay, next one. Please describe the black sun and its function in magic. He answered very quickly again. He said, it's the heart. So there's that, it's the heart. So, <laughs> um, I myself uh, know that the black sun has something to do with the true light, like the real sun. Uh, I mean, I have to add, of course, I have been writing down these questions. so. As I was writing them, I already got a few impressions here and there. So, uh, yeah, the heart. And it's, um, it's, it's the true light as opposed to the false light. Like the fake light that is um, there to, you know, it, it's the truth versus the lies. So that's what the black sun is according to azazel and translated through me <laughs> with a bit of myself mixed in probably <laughs> so next question Did Archangel Raphael really bind you? Okay. I'm hearing hear him say yes, like audibly. He was right here saying I, I got a yes, but that's not an answer I expected actually because I thought it was biblical bullshit. But okay, let's, let's see if what he says. I 
I'm trying to see if there is any, if there's a particular reason, maybe I'm getting something that he was bound to save him from himself. Yeah. So this is something that has to do with what I mentioned earlier, probably the Norse god Tyr. I see Azazel was freed, but he had to cut his hand off. Um, this connects to Tyr and Fenrir, how Fenrir, the, wo the, the wolf. I'm sorry for the snoring in the background. <laughs> That's my dog. Fenrir was was also captured and cha chained, and that's how um, they had to. It was something that that Fenrir had to bite off Tyr's hand in order to be chained. But Azazel got freed. He he liberated himself, or was allowed to be free again and he had to cut off his hand and I think it's his right hand that I see but I'm not sure if that makes if that's any um, so what I'm getting for now is that he is uh, was bound indeed but it was not entirely against his will. It was done um, to save him from himself. And he is now free again. As he cut off his hand and was like, could release himself like that. Um, of course, this is, could all be, all be very symbolic, but this, this is, my understanding right now, like that's the visual language he uses. How much? Uh, yeah, yeah. And this is a long one, I think. Azazel, do you and your brethren truly reside on all planes? And if so, on those planes, do all of you act as one? Or are you to be experienced as one being? Like how the body has numerous parts, but it's still one body. So, yeah, that's a difficult one, I think. Um, no, he stands alone. That's... That's what he says. So no, they are not... Um, they're individuals. Yeah. Does he... Do you... What was the word again? Do you reside on all planes there are gaps like he has a certain reach i'm not sure if if that means he has the full range um i can see like uh so, ba so in that case, the, if, if I'm seeing that correctly, the answer is no, he does not reside on all planes. But he does have a very wide range, but there's there are gaps in between that. Like there are certain planes in between that he doesn't reside in, if that makes any sense. 
so yeah so next how might I do yeah oh well it doesn't matter What is the relationship between Azazel and Svarok? This is one that I actually already know. Um, I'd say Svarok would be more likely to be linked to King Paimon instead. There's a lot of confusion between those two. I mean, between if Azazel and King Paimon in general, but they are not the same. That's I disagree on that, but. Um, I don't think there's any connection to between him and Svarok. I believe that is a blacksmith god and I was getting a no on that. Uh, I might be wrong, of course, but uh, sometimes it's very hard to shut down your own uh, <laughs> ideas on things. But I'm pretty sure that you would have told me differently, I guess, if, if, if I was wrong on this one. Generally, his aspects are more related to war and, let's say, aggression, like the battlefield and not so much, um, not, not so much the blacksmith and the forgery. It's more, it's more like uh, the actual battle itself. Okay, so the next one. Right. What are Azazel's thoughts on the Enochian angels and their relation to mankind and the creator? Damn. <laughs> I don't know if I can get an answer on this, like th this quickly. Um, I'm just, I'm gonna try. I think he's joking. Like I see a balloon, a balloon that's being popped. I'm just going to assume that if that, if he's not joking, on that he's probably not too not a big fan of them but um, seeing an organ and keys I'm seeing like what would be like my view of an Enochian angel playing like a pipe organ with keys. It's like uh, they produce the sound. They're the mechanism that bring the sound of that or their creator. That's, uh, yeah. They're just not, 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 yeah, you know, we, in order for an organ to make a sound, the keys need to be pushed. I think it's like the creator pushes the keys and they are the keys. Something sort of like that. <laughs> In that sense, they are kind of like the voice of that creator in that so in that setting, like in that uh I personally don't really believe in a creator, so that's that's uh that's something else I have to kind of shut down my own personal beliefs and see uh 
But yeah, in that setting, they, I think Azazel's answer to that is that they are the keys that bring the sound of the what the creator wants to say to mankind. There. Yeah, I'm getting something with the color green. Something related to this question, which I don't know what it is yet, but something with green. <laughs> All right. Uh, is Azazel Lucifer? <laughs> well, I say... Uh, their combined colors could could be green, <laughs> but no, no, he's not Lucifer. They're entirely different. Uh, their uh, energy signatures are entirely different. So, um, he can be a Lucifer, like sometimes, but. No. <laughs> I think should be starting to wrap it up. He said he's literally saying like playtime is over. I promised 10 questions, so I'm going to do two more, this one. What is Azazel's relationship with Tubal Cain? Speaking, speaking, speaking. I guess it <laughs> needs all speaking terms. <laughs> yeah. They talk. <laughs> that's uh, that's what he says. They're not. Uh, I mean, it's not like he is. No. They're not like the same being or anything. I get a feeling he wants to do this quickly. So, yeah. <laughs> So that's the that's the answer I'm getting. Tubal, Cain and Azazel they talk. <laughs> or they're on speaking terms. <laughs> so there's one more. This is the last one. What is Azazel's view of karma, like Western karma? Like if you did something bad, you're gonna get bad karma and stuff. Okay. Something about the rules, but also um, how do I translate this? Measurements, measuring. It's a way, a means to not necessarily control, but to lead. Oh, what is what is this? I'm looking for for a, the Dutch word is regelen. So 
it is like control but not in a bad way um, conditioning no not conditioning it's lo like how to lead taking care of business what is this English word for that <laughs> um, making sure it's done but it's it um, tempering kind of All right, I'm I'm just going to dis to describe that word. It's kind of to make sure that there are no excess, like everything stays within a certain limit, and there are no. Th th that's, yeah. Like how machinery is uh, controlled, Contr yeah. To keep it within a certain, uh, keep things within bounds. Yeah. I'm really not. I really don't know how to translate this. <laughs> It's like uh, controlling, I'm really seeing a lot of references to controlling temperature, like air conditioning uh, at the switch that controls a machine and make sure that it stays even, like sort of evenly. Uh, that it remains in a certain balance so that's what karma is according to Azazel which makes sense you know it's a, probably a way for humans to to keep humans from going overboard so yeah I think um, did I have 10? did I get 10? Yeah, I got 10. So, let me see. I think this is done for now. <laughs> Maybe I might get like, you know, this this is all um this is what I got for now. Um there might be some changes like maybe I got misunderstood a few things. Um additions or any uh any additions or or changes like corrections uh may come flowing in at some point and in that case i will post those corrections um so yeah thanks guys uh, for watching i'm just gonna have a quick look at if i missed anything here otherwise i'll do it in later, like get back to that later on. Yeah, Roy, I think what, to keep the, the there was a qu about the first question, yeah, about keeping the lanes clear, but also um, I believe there is really something going on with what the spirits are, like, you know, destroying the veil. Yeah whatever you wanted to call it, destroying the veil, destroying the cosmic prison, um, raising Earth's vibrations to accommodate it for the higher frequencies, making sure that um, spirits have a strong, like, yeah, making sure that spirits have a stronger um, presence here, like that they can actually reside here. 
it's this kind of matches up with, with something I did a few days ago. I cannot like I'm not being secretive, but I'm I cannot get too deep into that. Um, and it was a bit of new spirit who is uh, pretty much um, very high up. Like he, too high, his frequency is too high to for Earth to ca really carry that. So, um, and I realized that for these spirits that are so high up that they have no presence in a pantheon or whatsoever but they do they do want that contact like they want to be able to come to this plane as well but this plane that we are in cannot um, support their frequency Azazel is not one of them he can reach these frequencies but what I realized is that uh, bringing in that like the, even that little contact being a vessel not even a vessel but just a just a contact ma making contact with a spirit like that brings in tiny bits of that very high frequency energy and it allows it's it's like blasting a road and it allows energy like that to seep through and raise the vibrations on this like you know get get earth ready for that and the same happens of course if you were to work with a spirit like Azazel who is possibly not as high as that spirit but still very very high compared to what we're used to I mean he can reach those he he lowers his frequencies to reach here like and this is also why uh, why we should be thankful for them you know if they're coming over they're traveling downwards to us they're dumbing themselves down basically <laughs> you know they're reaching they're reaching down for us um, but he had to keep the roads clear, possibly for himself, you know, so that he can um, keep coming here. And also, as he does that with his presence alone, he helps raise the vibrations here and helps um, make this a better environment for higher up spirits to you know have their energy supported here let me see if there's more hey Marvin thank you <laughs> Yeah, Roy, moderate. That that's the that's the one I was looking for with the regelen. Yeah, so karma is to moderate. Yeah, thank you for that. I wish I saw that earlier, but uh, it it doesn't always show up. Uh, like the the comments don't always show up immediately. So that was uh, what I was talking about. And. Um, as for Azazel being frivolous, well, he does have a sense of humor. He's just very much a badass, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't say he's always serious. No, it's just that not. I'd say his sense of humor isn't everyone else's sense of humor. I guess, but he's quite dark, you know. Like, yeah, but. I mean, uh, I wouldn't say he's more serious than most others, or... I guess it also depends, like, if you're working, you're working, like, you know, but he likes some fun. Oh, sorry. 
breaking the illusion <laughs> yeah sh sure he doesn't like he it's it's not like he doesn't like his time wasted it's just that he's very quick Sorry, I'm having a hard time reading this. <laughs> it's on a very small phone screen, sorry. <laughs> Those born outside but got trapped here, like the, the fireborn are able to pierce the wall between this realm and the realm we are from. And part of their desire is for us to do that. Yeah, that could be another, yeah, it could be. <laughs> yeah, I've had that, like, like some of us can indeed pull them through, but it's not, it's not so much about force always. Sometimes there are some beings that are so far removed that have moved, like, um they're all the way up there and we're here and you know their arms only stretch still here and if you take for instance take Azazel for instance okay you have these beings up here and they can only reach still here but Azazel for instance he's here so he can and he can reach still here you know um, that's where the true word of a demon, like Daimon, actually comes from. It's to the ones that travel between uh, those frequencies that can um, that have that over, that have this overlap, um, where they are slightly. I mean, we are here, but we can travel up, you know. And as I said here, let's say, and then we can meet here more or less and whereas the ones that are completely high up um, you would have like Azaza would be right here and they can meet here and he can talk to them and get their messages and bring it to us right here so that's kind of what I meant with that <laughs> so uh, yeah it's not that that's what I what I meant with it's not always about a wall or a veil or it's just that sometimes you know like a ju I I was about to say a giraffe like a giraffe not being able to reach its feet I don't think I'm not sure if that's actually true uh, I do think like you always see them bending to like get in this really weird position to reach the water and I guess that's that's kind of like the case, you know, the head is too far up. And uh, for some spirits, it's also, it's, it's just a lot of, uh, you know, it's a big hassle to go all the way down here. So it's it would be nicer, like, for everyone if this place reaches upwards, you know, if this real where that we're in um, comes to a point that those that are here um, like they're like we can be here but like there th th there's a bigger overlap basically and that the energies of those that are higher up the frequencies can be supported here without you know blasting things that's another you know, this this place, this density, it is. It's not made for them. Like, probably it's 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 more like they will probably be all right, but it's it's probably for our own safety. Like, if you imagine uh, already working with the regular 
a, no disrespect meant, but the regular demons and gods and deities that we all, that we do know here, the effect that that has on our bodies, like we already feel that. Imagine if um, one of these higher beings were to come here. I don't know, that could kill us, supposedly. I mean, maybe set stuff on fire, whatever, like things are gonna blast and... Yeah, we need to be ready for that first. Like, not just the human bodies, but the whole environment. So, um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> not sure if anyone has anything to add here. I think it's about time. I think... Uh, Azazel has already made it clear he wants to wrap it up. So, I'm um, sorry to, to everyone's questions who did not get answered. I'm sorry for that. Well, it's, uh, I sh yeah. It was just kind of, you know, intuitive. And who knows? Azazel might answer those questions to you personally. Um, I mean, his energy is in the video, so who knows? You can just get in touch or whatever and ask him yourself. <laughs> and to everyone else, um, I wish you all a good night or a good morning. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you guys next time. Good night. <laughs>